Right now, there is a lot of attention on the coronavirus as it spreads globally. Yeah, the flu, though, is the present threat here at home. News 4's Venton Blandon is following the increase in cases on both sides of the river. As you might have noticed, the temperature outside has dropped a good deal, and every day it seems that that temperature does change. All of that creates the perfect opportunity to get people sick. Now, on both sides around the bi-state, doctors are diagnosing more and more people with the flu. Whether it's a sneeze or a cough, the thought is the same. Watch your germs. Jason Bartlett is a father of two. We get our vaccines, my wife, kids, all of us. He's all about covering coughs, using a tissue when sneezing and good hand hygiene. I mean, our primary hygiene is to make sure to wash your hands with soap and water. Uh, if they go too fast, it's like, hey, you need to sing happy birthday while you're washing your hands. With good reason. This map from the CDC shows most of the country shaded brown, meaning the flu is widespread. But the CDC map shows Missouri orange and Illinois red, meaning they are in the highest brackets for flu outbreaks in the U.S. So this week is greater than it was last week. Christine Zergis handles infections and disease prevention for SSM regional hospitals. She says the jury is still out on the effectiveness of this year's flu vaccine. Despite us now being in February, many experts believe the peak of flu season has not yet arrived. And that's why Zergis recommends you get a flu shot now if you haven't. Even if you do acquire the flu, it may not be as bad or it does protect you against certain strains. With the talk of coronavirus, Zergis says it's important to know the Chinese-born illness mirrors the flu. I think with the coronavirus, uh, people are overreacting a little bit. Uh, especially because the flu is actually deadlier than the coronavirus. Um, but then it's kind of like, hey, now we got one more thing to worry about. In our area, 16 people have died from the flu. The CDC estimates about 10,000 have died so far in this country already this year. Now, flu season typically goes until April, but it is also known to go as far as into May. Reporting live, Vincent Bland.